Northwood, they reloaded after the Zero World Championship. They went and picked up Zanil, and they had one of the best seasons of all time. St. Edwards, a new squad. A new squad looking to take down a dynasty. Let's see if they can do this. Northwood University runs the table, 15-0. Number one in the power rankings from start to finish. All that and a quarter will get you one round of Pac-Man at the local arcade. It's time to lock in, in the upper bracket. Anybody's ball game to start this one off. Upper bracket, two lives for both teams, but everybody looking for the fall championship. It starts here. Who's gonna come out with the fire? Everybody knows what Northwood can bring. When I talked to Sam Edwards before the matchup, they are more confident than ever that they're gonna come out on top. Wellis right into the waiting arms of Lion Blaze, and this is real awkward right now for the Hilltoppers as Zanio peppers the backboard again. Lion Blaze circling around, but it'll be Hockey trying to serve one up for Lion Blaze, and it's saved away by Drewy. Not out of the woods just yet, though, but this 40 seconds is a tumultuous defensive stand for St. Edwards. Yeah, I mean, Another one oh. coming in. That's gonna waterfall down right back out in front and still saved away by Dino. Yeah, but you gotta keep eyes here on Lion Blaze. He's gotten two shots early on, free ball, free shots. They both have either been way off the mark or slow enough for the defense to get to. You can set up the opportunities, but if you can't hit your mark, what's it worth? Oh, they still don't get onto the other side of the field for very long as Dino's gonna play one across. Lion Blaze just hit the brakes, let one go by. And now a pinch downfield. Is St. Edwards gonna get on the board? No, Hockey was back, and he makes the save, ranging back towards his own net. And now it turns into a track meet between Northwood and St. Edwards. A very confident St. Edwards squad, as Daz alluded to earlier, but they are being tested early. Here's a shot, though, and still blocked away at point-blank range by Hockey. Well, it's going to lob one in, and that's going to be wide. Yeah, you can definitely see that. A little bit of preparation, right? For the fact that they were able to hold off on that defensive stand. Now we're seeing them with a strong offensive push. Chance there was a little dangerous. Dino almost was able to find the first goal for the orange side, but now they've got to make a defensive stop. What a save from Wellis. Why well, this is a sharp contrast to what we've seen in the loser's bracket as this is played over to the side. Lion Blaze quickly onto it through the corner and kicked back out in front. Zaniel up, but a little late, and Wellis has the clear. Drury running onto it, and Hockey beat him to the punch. Zaniel got tangled up with Dino in midfield. Popped in the air, nobody's there for it, but here comes Zaniel down in front, and Lion Blaze scores. It's just that lapse of space. You can tell Northwood are so confident to want to get to this ball. It's quickly as they have an opportunity. Zaniel jumps, great read on the play, great positioning from Lion Blaze to be there as well. Best of seven, it takes almost half of the first game before we break a scoreless deadlock. And now, does St. Edwards have an answer on the ensuing kickoff? Wellis and Dino trying to combine, and Drury was there at midfield, but had to put on the brakes because he would have been the last man coming way into Northwood territory. So now Zanil with Lion Blaze waiting to pounce, and Dino's all over it instead. Good old Dino be able to get that cut out. Right now, it just has to be a speed thing for St. Edwards. They have done a good job of being able to win their challenges and set up, but that second or third man who have to come through and follow up the play, sometimes are a little too far behind when, if they do get there in time, could make the difference. We'll see if they can pick up that speed as we hit that two minute mark. Hockey through the air, blocked away by Dino. He had another defender with him as well. And now Wellis let this one get away from him. Zanil's all over it, try to drop one down in front. And it's just out of harm's way, but Wellis has to get on this, and he does. Opportunity now, maybe for a numbers advantage. Instead, it's cut out by Lion Blaze. And here comes Northwood again. Lion Blaze, patient, looking for Zanil, intercepted by Wellis. Gotta be a little careful with some of the touches that they're making. Even in that last play, Dino low boost, hit the ball way away for him. Couldn't even force a 50. Then had to reposition. Team had to play a ton of defense. It's these minute factors that can make a big difference as Zanil's play gets cut out by Drew. And now a minute 20 to go. St. Edwards still looking for their first goal. Drewy, his shot oh! on target. You couldn't pick it up and place it any better. I, I, I saw it going wide, but my goodness, you're right. Off the post and in, perfect top left corner slot. And that's the St. Edwards confidence that they were talking about put out there on the field.
There is one person and one person only who thought that shot was on, and it was Drewy. As this goes out to the wing, and it's Zanil giving chase. Lion Blaze waiting. His shot off the backboard, no follow up, and intercepted just short of the midfield line by Hockey, who keeps this in again. Hockey's been a real pest for St. Edwards to have to deal with so far in this first four minutes plus. As that skips away out to midfield and kicked aside by Hockey. Great two man play between Zanil and Hockey. Broken up. Lion Blaze has to range back to his own backboard. And we play on in a one all deadlock to the final 30 seconds. Oh man, still a little bit more pressure here on the St. Edwards side. They've definitely picked up the pace. Now they're looking for some cracks in the armor. Northwood trying to get out, and they've done an excellent job being able to control the pace of the midfield as Zanil may have set up hockey, and hockey hits the mark. Oh, this is a pretty setup, and you know, you feel bad for Drewy here. It's like, what else can you do? You put a hand up, you made him make the play, he had no support behind him, too slow getting back. Hockey picks him apart with 19 seconds to go. Important kickoff here for Northwood to hold serve, and they do for the moment. Dino got it away. Drewy needs the read. Blocked by Lion Blaze. Here's Willis around the corner. Somebody's got to oh. get up. It's a bouncer wide, and Dino's denied with five to go. Lion Blaze will bring it down towards ground, and Willis doing all he can to keep it in the air, and he does. He's got Dino way downfield, got a boost steal. Drewy in the air. Big shot. Is it on? No, it's saved away and Northwood hangs on. Hangs on, perfect description of that. Just seeing exactly what St. Edwards were planning down to the final seconds. They had a slow start, and that's where Northwood made their mark. Being able to get those two early goals, or the first early goal, forcing St. Edwards to respond, and then of course, Zanil, two big assists that game, as it was only a one goal difference but it really did come down to the wire. I would be very surprised to see the same result going into game two as well. I mean, that was just the exact opener you want going into an upper bracket best of seven stacks. Yeah, that's a great opener back and forth. It was a track meet the whole way. Attack, counterattack, it's what you come to expect when you get to this stage of the fall championship of any CRL championship. Two very evenly matched teams. Listen, the records are a little bit different. Of course, Northwood running the table in the Eastern Conference. San Edwards took a couple of losses. They go 13 and two, but you look at their overall game differential, Daz. Northwood coming in at plus 32, and San Edwards in there at plus 31. They were dominant in their respective regions, and now this heavyweight battle going on to game two. It's Northwood that draws first blood, but a long, long series ahead. You're right, it is a long series ahead indeed. Seeing exactly Northwood's plan, they just look for each other so many times and now they're gonna end up looking at the pause screen for a little bit. We do have a pause here. We do. So, so knowing how that game one went, you do have to think, okay, gonna be a, a little bit more speed given here on the side of St. Edwards. I think the biggest thing that they have to figure out is they have to be able to cut out those infield passing and just honestly keeping an eye on the long ball here especially because you saw the, t uh, the kind of style that Northwood likes to play they don't want to boom the ball for a clear downfield no this is a solo play opportunity let's see if we can force a 50 get that ball to the backboard at least one or the other here they're not trying to give up possession willy-nilly and I think that's going to be a big proponent here in this series how much can you play against that uh, and how effectively can you play against that as well? We're really going to have to see defensively how things look in the air. So we will continue to check on, I believe it was Hockey who had a, a little uh, problem. He seems to be, okay, I mean, he's at least there. Maybe they went to go get Zanil a phone or something so he could have a camera for the night. But uh, we will reset the lobby from a fresh kickoff, five minutes on the clock, and we will get into game two as soon as the players are ready, and it seems like they are. So let's kick off game number two. Northwood takes the first one, 2-1. But boy, did they have to hold on at the end as it's St. Edwards this time that gets the opening shot. And maybe the opening goal, but that passed way too strong. It goes off to the corner and Lion Blaze spawned in right near the play. Didn't matter. Well is still on it. Whoa. Down in front, very dangerous and cleared up by Zanil. Lion Blaze has to be a more careful here in some of these situations. 
He is widely touted as one of the most consistent factors on teams and definitely one of the most mechanical players here on the field. But if those mechs aren't up to par, and you, you're looking at a big drop here in efficiency. Oh, that just rolling a little bit wide from Wellis. And Lion Blaze will lead the charge downfield. He's got options, leaves it for Zanil. It got through the defense, but did not beat the post. I was just trying to keep eyes on how things look here on the St. Edwards side. Wellis kind of had to retreat uh -oh, there. Double. A little bit of miscommunication, and they paid the price. Lion Blaze will score. Going back to the goal, you see Wellis there on the side. It's a little awkward. He doesn't have a good read, but there's no communication between him and Drewy. They both go for the same ball, and Lion Blaze just able to pick up the remaining pieces, score the open net. Add a new rule to the Rocket League list of rules. If two people got it, nobody got it. 1-0 to Northwood. You cannot afford to give them a freebie like that as Zanil repels this attack. And Dino has it played away from him. That's great by Zanil. Sets up Lion Blaze. Initial delivery is a little bit wide. And Drewy now will try to take over. He had Wellis behind him, but couldn't really pass that ball off at all. And I'll tell you, there's one team that's really playing as a team. It's Northwood and the other side, St. Edwards, kind of trying to get there with solo plays and it's not really working out. And Lion Blaze. Oh, oh what a screen. <laughs> I mean, look, call, at that, look at him coming to, across here. Look at this. Call the delivery service. You got to drop off Zanil. Please remain here at the door. We got a package. Slammed it home. Northwood up by two. Lion Blaze, expert delivery service. I love it. 10 out of 10. Yeah, right in front of the goal, too. He went goal side of the ball, so the defender had to take a slightly more scenic route to the ball, and he could not get in the way. Here's Zanil going right after Drewy. Flip reset over him, and that's cleared away, but then Wellis also got cleared out to the side. So here goes Hockey. He'll try and dive through. That's dished off to the corner. Lion Blaze could stay with this, but Dino's all over it, and finally at least out to midfield, but not for very long. It's coming right back in. Zanil can play it himself. He's got Drewy and Wellis waiting, and Drewy takes charge as he'll play it out to the corner, but Boost becoming a concern over time for St. Edwards. They've got to get it on the offensive end, and they've got to stay there for a a while because all they're doing is taking a short jaunt into the blue half of the field and then coming right back and having to defend for another 20 seconds. Yeah, they, they got to make up most of their opportunities as well. They just had a lion blaze on a 1v3 basically and he handled that perfectly. Played the ball to the corner was able to get out. Even when you see players like Wellis going upfield, taking some boosts, trying to see if he can get bumps, he's not able to connect with the bump. He takes the boost but he gets demoed immediately after. Northwood is not giving up anything for free, including even some boost grabs and positioning upfield. They want to make sure St. Edwards is uncomfortable no matter if it's on the ball or off ball and that's exactly what they've done here in game two. Oh hockey very quickly up to the ceiling Wellis trying to get in the way and all he did was help him set it up for Lion Blaze. A little bit of thanks there Wellis but you have to see this play. Hockey either way he was still a threat Lion Blaze was as well and whoever's sitting there back into the net there from St. Edwards has to keep an eye and track it all because it's coming at you fast. And if you're not ready to respond, you see the result. 3-0 now. Northwood just in so much control. St. Edwards finally is able to get something back off of a great solo play from Dino. And, well, that's the key. Solo play. The kickoff rolled up the wall and Dino just passed hockey. Not the best read that hockey's ever had. He's probably kicking himself for a moment, but they will feel consoled a little bit with a two-goal lead. That could be in jeopardy, though, as hockey's got this one away, and Zanil will be able to track it to the side. Taken away by Drew. He needed one more touch. Lion Blaze in the way. Dino down towards Drew. He's going to have to take it himself, though. Dino shot. Blocked away by hockey. Not much of a follow-up from Wellis as Lion Blaze will give chase and the Northwood attack about to begin anew. Hockey up high, nobody there. Oh man, Zanil gets a two for one though on his rotation out for the demo. Like to see the movement oh. here, but it's just Northwood attack and whether or not they hit or miss the ball, St. Edwards has to respect it. We've seen what happens if they don't. This is a stranglehold of a position that the Timberwolves are in right now. A minute 10 to go. They've got possession, they've got a two-goal lead, and they're on track to maintaining it. It's really going to be up to St. Edwards to get themselves out of this position. 
Oh, Hockey trying to line up a double, and a good thing that Drury was there. It gives St. Edwards some glimmer of hope, but they've got to get out of their own zone. This has just been unsustainable for them. Dino going back for a corner boost that's not there for him. It spawns right as he leaves. Now downfield, Drewy doesn't have a second touch. Dino doesn't have a second either. It's cleared away again, and the clock keeps ticking. Down to 30 seconds. And San Edwards just out of sorts right now. Barely able to get the ball out to midfield, but nobody can actually give chase. Great back pass, and Northwood holds all the cards now in complete total control. Zanil, backboard, Lion Blade is looking for the dagger. Down to 13 seconds. They still can't get it out of their own zone. They certainly can't stay there. That won't help. Down to seven seconds. And now finally, Drewy breaches the center line, but again, it's brought back. St. Edward's gonna run out of time, held to one goal again, and Northwood up 2-0, halfway to pay dirt. And one for the road as well. What systematic offense of pressure that we saw here on the side of Northwood this game. When I say that everything was efficient, it really was in all departments. Took a look at people, players, POVs all the way through. Even if someone made a mistake, there was always someone there to cover for them. Not only that, the off-ball plays were crisp and pristine. Zanil took so much boost there on the side. I saw Drewy on the rotation back. He had zero. He doesn't even know this boost isn't going to come up anytime soon. So then what happens? They get stuck. Sandwich gets stuck in that defensive wall that they try to put up meanwhile northwood continue player rotates in tries to put a shot on or a ball, a ball to another teammate okay that's done look for a bump can't find that let's steal some boost let's steal multiple pads of boost while we're at it and st edwards was just playing catch up time and time again it's just catch up catch up catch up and even with a little bit of desperation desperation is not going to fill up the boost tank it's not going to get your car in the air they have to be better in those departments. Otherwise, Northwood is going to choke them out. Give St. Edwards a lot of credit. They'd managed eight shots there. I mean, what little time they had on the offensive end, they were at least able to apply some kind of token pressure to the Northwood defense. But that's all it was. I mean, you had the one goal from Dino in that game. It came off a kickoff. They didn't get particularly close, certainly not as close as they did in game one, where they were able to kind of match Northwood's speed. This time around, Northwood was just faster, was just better as a team. And you saw St. Edwards playing a little bit of my turn ball. It started with that opening goal, the double commit leading to a wide open net. Lion plays then forcing the defender to go around him, couldn't get to the ball. This. I, I mean, Wellis is there, but he's not really helping on the play. And then you almost have the same goal, just from a slightly different angle. And these things are things that cannot happen. If you're St. Edwards, you've put in the prep time. You've put in the practice, the scrims. You go out, you say that. I'm, I'm talking to players they like, I promise you, we will win. Well, right now, the only thing you've delivered is you're down 2-0 and you call it a timeout. If there's any time to swing this series around, it's right now. DFA Stadium is the background for game number three. Put up or shut up. Here we go. I believe you told me, Daz, they promised a short series. At least they're delivering on one promise. The way it looks right now is Lion Blaze <laughs> will have it out of his own corner, trying to get through Drury. He beat two by himself there. And it's going to be Wellis that takes charge. Drury had to kind of play second fiddle. This goes off the backboard. Lion Blaze got a piece, and that disrupted Dino's effort. This gets kicked out to the corner, and the attack is starting to fall apart. Can Wellis keep it alive? No. Opportunity now for Drury. Around the boards, intercepted, but Hockey got just enough and that defensive stand should work out as this is cleared away intercepted back in by Wellis second touch to throw in front and he just could not get that ball central it's a good opening serve here from St. Edwards but now a similar attack from Northwood they try to go right down the middle this time the Hilltoppers had it covered but can they get anything else towards the net nothing's actually been on target yet as that one sails high and hockey 
gets blocked by Drewy, and they finally get out of the zone, and here come the Timberwolves. Yeah, I mean, they were doing a good job on St. Edwards to uh, hold on to that midfield. Yeah, you're right, they're still holding it on. I want to see them control the ball. We might be getting that here, Dino. A little awkward there on the carry, but still able to force a 50 out. But Drury in danger now. Chance for a goal, and it's an own goal. Dino tried to get involved, could not knock it out of the way. Zanil will take credit, and Northwood will go up. Wellis whiffed on it, going up the wall. And I think it was Drury who was getting chased by Hockey all the way downfield. One mistake. That's all it takes against Northwood. And it comes at the worst possible time. Now Dino trying to hang on to control of this, but it's Lion Blaze. Little chip to try and keep this for himself. Drewy corkscrewing through the air. This stopped hockey for a moment. Now a chance for Dino to dive after this. Little bouncer, can he center? Yes. Can anybody shoot? No, Zanil got there just in the nick of time. Oh, wait, hold on, free ball here. Hockey versus Dino on Hockey. Oh, how Great does he stay coverage. With this? Yeah, he stays with it, forces a 50. You have to think of the value that an individual is getting whenever they're on the ball. How many 50s can they get? How many people can they take out of a play? And then when they're out of it, how much boost deals can they get? And how back into the game, or how quickly back into the game can they get? Hockey did all of that in that last play forward. And that's why he's such an important individual here on this Northwood roster. This is a three-headed attack that is as deadly as any that we've ever seen in Collegiate Rocket League. Of course, you're looking at Lion Blaze and this Northwood squad, the original CRL World Champions, unseated, unthroned by Dr. Booman. As Europe took over CRL this past summer, you know they are going to want to reclaim their crown, however, and this team looks well primed to do so. Zanil looking to center. No, he's going to take it himself and just plays it across in the end. Hockey dumping it back in, forcing Drewy into action. And the demolition on Dino means Wellis has to go up, and he is blocked by Zanil. Two on two the other way. Lion Blaze stopped by Drewy, who gets back quickly. Oh, Zanil still waiting on the side. Wow, oh, I love no that. Way. Infield pass back to Hockey. Zanil at first I thought was out of position. Then I wonder why was he sticking on the wall? Because Hockey was giving him the ball right there, saying, wait, since no one's going to cover for you, I have a free ball. It passed right there. Almost a 1-2-1 one, one play to work out. Lion Blaze. Oh, with the hammer. Put this poor soul on a poster. Oh, no. Poor Dino. Great challenge from Lion Blaze. And again, Northwood not doing too much. They're not taking bad shots at the net and getting easy clears downfield over their heads. They're playing a little bit wide. Force of the defense out here. Dino though off the kickoff. Almost got one back. And Hockey quickly clears out of the zone. There's one demo. Actually, Willis and Zanil cancel each other out. And Hockey is going to give chase here. Deep into the corner. Another demo on Drewy. And that forces Dino and Willis to work in tandem. They lose possession. Drewy and Dino back. Hockey threatening a demo. Lion Blaze threatening a double but couldn't convert. And now it's a jailbreak the other way. And Hockey is going to delay. Oh, misses that one good on Zanil Lion Blaze to be able to help out. But... You see, St. Edwards, everybody went upfield for that to try to deny resources. No one played the ball. Maybe a chance here as we hit that final minute. But no, no one finding the mark. What is going on with the shooting? Zanil now is able to move upfield. Pitch straight down. Almost another own goal. This time goes off the bar. And St. Edwards in danger. 40 seconds remaining here in game three. And they have still scoreless. Yeah, they we're seeing the same kind of accuracy or lack thereof that plagued Maryville in their series with Fisher earlier as that goes wayward to the corner. And Hockey will just delay, finally play it downfield. And look at all the boost that has to be burned just to challenge this ball, just to get back into position. And then they have to hope that there's any left for them on the other side. Dino and Wellis, Lion Voice gets bumped out of the way. And Dino just squeaks it through with 11 to go. Still some hope here. But big play on Dino, gets the initial dunk, and Wellis is the one actually gets that bump in on Lion Blaze to send him out. Huge for St. Edwards, but they still got to get one more, otherwise it's going to be for nothing. Ten seconds here. Oh, nothing behind that at all. Zanil 
all day to play it away. So Drew is going to start the counterattack. They run into his teammate. He collides with Wellis on the back wall, and Northwood walks away with another as they again hold San Edwards to just the one goal. And you saw oh, Wellis' reaction there. The heavy lean back in the chair. What is going on over there on the orange side? Man, this is Three big. down, one to go. That's what it all adds up to for Northwood. I mean, again, San Edwards, they're yeah. not getting vastly outshot, right? I mean, the quality of opportunities from Northwood, they are higher, and that's why they're converting on more than San Edwards is. But, you know, the shots in that game, you see it there, six to five. It's, it's not like they're getting completely outclassed, but the time of possession just feels like it has to be about 75-25 at least in favor of Northwood. Certainly the quality of opportunities as you see the, the one that just barely gets through for St. Edwards, not enough. And now they've got a monumental task ahead of them trying to come back from three games down against the mighty Timberwolves. And honestly, any win here does help here for St. Edwards. You have to think, let's say they lose the series, you're still playing today. Your day's not over. So right. you gotta they gotta figure out whatever's plaguing them and they gotta do it quickly. Because backs against the wall, Northwood still being Northwood. They are looking to reclaim the throne of the best North American team in CRL. But it has to happen by winning the fall championship. Fish Fisher College awaits the loser. And it may well be St. Edwards, 11 seconds in, Zanil off the challenge from Lion Blaze. It looked like it was shot out of a cannon. Of course nobody got back in time, 1-0. Said go up and get it, and Zanil, right place, right time. How do you expect that? <laughs> Pinch off the corner. Okay, yeah, it'll come right to me. <laughs> Has Lion Blaze had a bad challenge in this series? Bro has been locked in as Wellis now will try to trigger the counterattack. Flip reset, getting some help with his teammates running interference and still Zanil with the save. And now he's got the infield pass. Hockey for Lion Blaze. No, he's going to stay back and rightly so as Wellis loves it trying to go over his head. Lion Blaze, the initial save, dropped down to Dino. And that's the best team play we've seen out of St. Edwards. Beautiful setup here for the team play as well, right? Wellis with the initial startup, forces Zanil into a tough spot. Drewy, great pass right on the nose of Dino, who's behind him. And Dino, pristine placement. That's what you call capitalizing on your opportunity. Great selfless play there by St. Edwards. They get on the board and we're all tied up here in a game that they must win before they go down to the lower bracket. Here goes Zanil. Flip reset, didn't use it. And now it's going to be on Hockey. Trying to slow play. Go around the corner. Lion Blaze and Zanil were there available. And it's Zanil who crashed in. But now played across. Free ball for Hockey. This could be dangerous. Got his flip back from the ceiling, but couldn't do anything with it. Now Lion Blaze waiting to see if Wellis misplays this. And he does not. Great second touch to set up Drewy. But maybe just trying to get a little too much on the offensive end too quickly are St. Edwards. Yeah, Dino, get, get away from him. Well, you're on that wall on the side, and you're not going to be able to get involved in this play at all. They finally got boosted up and got out, but it doesn't matter if you're going downfield, giving away possession, and then having to play defense all over again. We know how threatening Northwood can be. All St. Edwards needs to do is honestly just spread out a little more. They've been going all in on a lot of their offensive plays, which means that they don't keep possession for so long. And you don't want to continue to give constant counterattacks to Northwood. Yeah, if this were FIFA where you could just press a button to pass to the guy who's right behind you, they, that'd be great. Would have loved that when solo standard was a thing. Doesn't quite work out here. Zanil, drop down for Lion Blaze, and that's blocked away by Willis. And now Drewy, all he can do is play it out towards Hockey. He pumps the brakes for a moment. Northwood kind of circling around, but it is Wellis that clears. But again, there's nobody else to pass to. He's got to try and create all on his own. Doesn't have any options. Meanwhile, on the other side, Northwood, they're all spaced out, and you've got to be on your toes defensively if you're the Hilltoppers. Oh, man. Bumped out the play. 
But Dino got a demo downfield. Chance here if Drew could get around. Lion Blaze tried to play that ball off the post, but too slow, too fast was Zaniel on the way back. Now he's back into the play, looking to see if he can hit this double. Oh my <laughs> God! What? If you're St. Andrews, you're going, why is he there? And the only answer is to make you question why on earth is he there? What a play from Zaniel and Northwood back in front. All up and down the field. That's the thing that really makes this play crazy. He just stopped his team from getting scored on, goes upfield, hits the pass into the double. Oh man, that is beautiful stuff. Well, now Drury trying to roll one ahead. Wellis on the weak side, but he wasn't far enough ahead. And all oh, Dino just narrowly avoided a big bump or demo in the air. And maybe they might have something here, but oh, Naki right back into the play. That demolition on Drewy. He spawns opposite ball side, so he's right there in position to make this save and clear, as well as in line blaze take each other out. Zaniel trying to delay, let Hockey get back into the play, and he's done well enough as line blaze will send it across again. Is Zaniel there? Of course, is the sky blue? And now line blaze will bail out and let Hockey take over. I see why Zaniel's on the team now. <laughs> oh, 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 there for defense. Oh, but wait, that was an equalizer. Drury just missed. Zaniel was out the play. It was a quick ball, and oh no. Final minute, though. Saying that we're still looking for a push. They've got to give it all year, otherwise, it's lower bracket time. But Lion Blaze trying to end the game. Good block out by Wellis. Follow up ball as high as Zaniel gets the follow up for free. Hat, trick, hero. Zaniel has them all. And he may have just delivered the dagger deep into the heart of St. Edwards. 7-17 total score. He has been putting on a clinic from the second game onward. Wellis with Drewy flanking behind and hockey with a last second save. Zaniel just in the way of Dino. And here they come again. If it wasn't over before, oh, off the crossbar. It certainly was about to be. Final 30 seconds. Time running out here for St. Edwards. Hope running out as well. Got to have this one on target. And Zaniel, just that little fingertip save to press it over the bar, and that should just about do it. Final countdown as Northwood closes on a 4-0 sweep. St. Edwards promised a quick series. Production thanks you. Northwood moving on in the upper bracket. Oh my goodness. That was a clinical performance from Northwood, my gosh. Everybody was on. It was a little shaky at, at the start. People did have their moments. But when they were locked in, man, that was a show. And Every now and then, Daz, this Northwood team, they look human, right? Like you see them up against a team and you go, is this really the Northwood that everybody's so all wild and scared about? And then you see this Northwood show up and it all makes perfect sense. This Northwood is one of the best teams we've ever seen in CRL. Holy. I just, I just did not expect that to be a sweep. Not, not from what I was hearing, not from how, you know, St. Edwards had been looking. And, I mean, you gotta give props to everybody though on Northwood though. That was a full team effort. Uh, Zaniel could probably take home the, the match ball though if we had to give it away because oh, you take a look at some of the highlights and it, it could almost be a Zaniel montage package the way he was efficient up and down the field. Like I said, this goal that we're watching right here comes after a clutch save. Oh, that's, that's insane. Huge. 
Well, Zanil scores five goals, so too does Lion Blaze, but Zanil's all came, to three of them came in that final game. You saw the highlight package right at the end. So Northwood is moving on in the upper bracket. That drops St. Edwards. They're not down, they're not out just yet. They'll mm. take on Fisher a little bit later on, but we still got one more winner's bracket matchup. Another best of seven coming your way as Boise State, yes, they're in CRL. They actually do get to play here on this channel for the first time this season. They take on West Virginia. It's coming your way right after this.